to integrate into this system with a righteous mentality. That's not it. Your country not built off righteousness. That's why I be telling y'all the whole the whole theme of the post Trump shit was study the wolves. I don't think y'all know how much game I done gave y'all in the when we was doing the post Trump course in the pack. That came directly from me studying old clown ass motherfuckers, but they winning. They clowns. They mo they morality is trash. They aren't great humans in my opinion, but they're winning. So I've been telling you guys the key to winning in this shit is maintaining your morals and your standards. But studying the wolves and beating them at their own game. So a thousand percent, bro. To me, group economics is way more dangerous than voting. Because these motherfuckers don't respect votes. They respect money. They respect power. There is no coincidence that all these big cities got a Chinatown. You have never been to Blacktown. You have never been to Negro Town. Shit, if we gonna say use a derogatory version, you ain't never been to nigger town. It don't fucking exist. Because a lot of us don't see the the prior the prioritization into collectively getting that bread right. All these motherfuckers just respect is bullets and bread. Been telling you for the longest, the country built off violence and entrepreneurship. They don't respect nothing else. Feel me? Like trust me, like they're not moved when motherfuckers. I don't even want to go into no whole conversation about it, but I'm gonna just say this, bro. Yes, collective economics would be way more stronger. It'd be way more effective. You can't go to a man that only understand money and be like, hear me out, bro. Listen to my story and why I deserve equality. No, because in his mind, he's able to sit where he's currently sitting based off the dollar that he bring to the table he's sitting at. You can't just come to that table and be like, I'm human like you. I got blood in my body like you. That make me an equal. No, because they don't look, they, they, their minds don't function on that frequency. Their mind function on materialism and money. So that's why that shit, that shit just be so left. That's why motherfuckers been doing the same goddamn song and dance for the last hundred years. And you're in the same position. You don't see the motherfucking Asians out rallying, talking about who to vote for. You don't see the Jewish community rallying, talking about who to vote for. No. They, they meet you with their power. Or they don't meet you at all. You feel me? You you rarely ever see... Like, I know in parts of New York, Jewish got their own policing system and all. Nigga, they not even calling the NYPD. I stay where the fuck y'all at. We don't need y'all help. We got shit under control. We the only motherfuckers who be despising them on social media. And in our first emergency, we call them. You know why? Because a lot of times we struggle to, to create a collective identity. Niggas would rather... Call the people who they hate, supposedly, then sit down with the people who have a potential desire as they do and create their own ecosystem. So, yeah, bro. Collective economics would be way more stronger, but, you know, vote or die. <laughs>